Good day, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful day. My name is Teacher May, and welcome to Online Escuela. Please don't forget to subscribe. Today, we will talk about matter and we will focus on the components of mixture, concentration of solution, and types of solution. But before we proceed to that, let's have a review first. As we may recall, matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Matter can be classified as either mixture or pure substance. Furthermore, mixture can be classified as either homogeneous or heterogeneous, while pure substance can either be elements or compounds. Going back to the mixture, examples of homogeneous mixtures are solution and colloids while heterogeneous are suspension. Let's talk about components of mixture. We all know that mixture is a combination of two or more substances that are physically combined. Those substances are called the solvent and the solute. What is the difference between the two? Solvent is a substance that dissolves the solute and usually present in greater amount. Solute, on the other hand, is a substance that is being dissolved and usually the one in lesser amount. Let's have an example. We have here solid and liquid samples. White powder is the solid sample and water as the liquid. White powder is put into the water and eventually dissolves after some time. With that, white powder is the solute and water is the solvent. Next, concentration of solution. Concentration is a measure of the amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solvent. In this example, again, we have white powder added into the water. Then, it dissolves after some time. At this point, the solution is said to be in low concentration or less concentrated because only a small amount of solute is dissolved. But, as we add more, more, and more, the solution becomes concentrated because more solute is dissolved into the solvent. Furthermore, a concentrated solution has a large amount of solute in a volume of solution. A solution that has a low concentration of solute or small amount of solute in a solvent is called a dilute solution. In this example, we have two glasses of water. The first glass of water contains less amount of red powder. The red powder is our solute. So, the first glass is said to be a dilute solution because less solute is dissolved in it. While the second glass of water has more red powder. Again, the red powder is our solute. That makes the second glass a concentrated solution because it contains more solute or more solute is dissolved in it. Let's proceed with the types of solution. There are three. We have unsaturated, saturated, and supersaturated solution. Let's discuss this one by one. 
unsaturated solution. An unsaturated solution is a solution that contains less than the maximum amount of solute. And more solute can be dissolved without changing the temperature. For example, no adding of heat. Next, we have the saturated solution. It is a solution that contains the maximum amount of solute that will dissolve at a given temperature. Any further addition of solute will result in undissolved solid on the bottom of the container. And lastly, we have the supersaturated solution. This is a solution that contains more than the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved at a given temperature. It is unstable and the solute will usually begin to crystallize, especially if disturbed. For example, a 250 ml of water can dissolve up to 100 grams of salt. So, we have three glasses. Each contains 250 ml of water. Then, each glass will have different amounts of solute or salt respectively. The first glass will have 100 grams of salt. The second one will have 50 grams. And the last glass will have 120 grams. Now, can you identify which of the glasses represents each type of solution? Have a guess. What type of solution does the first glass represent? Very good! It is a saturated solution because it contains the maximum amount of solute that the water can dissolve. It contains 100 grams. What about the second one? Very good again! It is called unsaturated solution because it has lesser amount of solute. It contains 50 grams only. And the last glass is... Very good! It is a supersaturated solution because obviously the water can only dissolve up to 100 grams but it contains 120 grams of salt. Thank you for watching! I hope that you learned something from this video. Till next time, bye!